welcome back to our channel. We are so excited to take you on a special adventure today in the beautiful city of Plovdiv, Bulgaria. Plovdiv is more than just a destination, it's a story waiting to be discovered. We'll share our favorite spots, the rich history, and the hidden gems we found along the way. So join us as we explore Plovdiv and be part of our family's story. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment to share this journey with us. Let's get started! Welcome to Plovdiv, Bulgaria, the oldest city in Europe. Yes, that's right. This is the oldest continuously inhabited city in all of Europe. Basically, anytime they dig around here, they find ancient ruins around every corner. And we have been walking around for all of, I don't know, three minutes and we've <laughs> already stumbled upon one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's definitely an amazing feel. They definitely have some beautiful parks that we've seen so far. But yeah, we've only been here for, you know, 10 minutes and it's already like got its charm uh, captivating us for sure. Absolutely. We're so excited. This is their final stop in Bulgaria and we couldn't leave without seeing this city. I mean, it is probably the most historic city in all of Bulgaria. Um, really one of the most historic cities in the world, really, because there's just it's ancient, you know? Yeah, I think I was ancient looking at city. the, like as on the world view, like I said, it's the oldest continuously inhabited in Europe, but I think it's the fifth oldest in the whole world. So, Exactly, cool. so we're gonna go and explore and walk around the city and see what we can find today. Time goes by, yeah, you and I are running out, running out. just starting our walk on the main pedestrian street here in Plovdiv and it just happens to be the longest pedestrian street in all of Europe and over here right off it there's more ancient ruins yeah. so now we're gonna actually go walk the beautiful street I see so many cute colored buildings like pretty pastels Lots of restaurants, a lot of stores. So we're gonna walk down the street and see if we can find some breakfasts. Yeah, definitely when you're traveling with kids, it's always great when they have amazing pedestrian areas. Cause yes. we've definitely been in some cities where it's like no sidewalks. You're worried about the kids getting run over by cars and everything. So it's nice that you can just let them roam free here and walk easily with kids. Exactly, you don't have to worry about cars. All right, let's go check it out. Wait, just one minute, 
Connor, you're supposed to whisper secret in his ear. Whisper secret. Ready? What did you tell him? What did you tell him? Huh? What did you tell him? You whispered a secret. What did you tell him? Nothing. Oh, okay. Well, it's a secret, so you're not supposed to tell me anyway. <laughs> Look at this guy, Logan and Connor. He doesn't move. Do you think he's a statue? Or he's not a statue. Think? You think he's real? You think he's real, Connor? Go give him a go give go give him a tip and then take a picture with him. Go. His face is like a different texture. Yeah. <laughs> go, go give him a tip and then take a picture with him. Oh, look, look, look! He gives a high five. <laughs> Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and We just stumbled upon the coolest candy shop I have ever seen So Hansel and Gretel So of course you have lots and lots of candy But you also have ice cream But this place is in corn here It's just incredible <laughs> Yeah, it's amazing so cute. Here you got the witch So obviously she did not get put in the oven in this case <laughs> Not yet, anyway. Not yet. What do you think, Logan? Is this pretty cool, Connor? I'm sure you want to get some candy, don't you? I do. Oh, you got some, oh, you got some money. He has money. He's ready to shop. <laughs> I'm going to spend all this money on just that golden guy. Oh, yeah. They also have donuts. And they look incredible. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. There it is. There's console. Oh, my goodness. Hello. Oh look, look there's a little room. witch on a broom up there. And there is the fireplace. <laughs> Where's the witch broom going? Dreams. <laughs> Did you go to the fireplace or she went in the oven? I, don't I, know. I think she went in the oven. <laughs> I think it was <laughs> Alright, this is so, so cool. cool. I look over there, there's a little... Ah, oh, right here, look at that. Brewing up some big batch of candy. No, no, you can't take that candy. That's not real. That's for that's for show, buddy. <laughs> there is candy for purchase, though. <laughs> and look, there's the witch's broom. Look, kids, there's the witch's broom. So here's all the places where they have Hans and Gretel candy shops: Greece, Cyprus, Turkey, London, Germany, Dubai, KSA, Egypt, Macau, Bulgaria, and Hong Kong. Pretty cool, huh? Even the bathrooms are decorated. Pretty amazing. This is definitely the best candy shop that I've ever seen in my life. And I'm from Las Vegas, so we have some cool candy shops. Look at these different donuts. What do they got? Magic donuts. Wow. Which one should we get? Oh, I think you should get that one. That one? Oh, wow. So many good choices. Okay, let's choose one. Logan, you would like that one? Uh, no. I want candy. It has like a candy bar on top of it. Yeah. It does have candy on top of it. Oh, yeah. I want it. Over then. I want this. That. What one did you get? I got this one because Logan wanted that one. Okay, I'll get their name. You just kind of kind of look at what looks good, right? They're all called magic donuts. Magic with cream. <laughs> so see, she's making it right there. So she's putting some kind of sauce on top. 
Shape. That's Gummy. cute. Yeah, that what is it? Is it good? All oh, tastes like sweet. I'm a gummy bear. I'm a gummy bear. All right, and this donut is the main attraction here. I mean, how do you eat this? How? <laughs> Without making a mess. You know, I'm gonna take one for the team. <laughs> So this thing looks outrageous. I don't think the donut is stuffed with anything. I'm not sure. It didn't yeah, say. Yeah, they had some that said magic, magic with cream. So that one did not have the cream. I don't so. know. Mm. Mm. So I'm gonna be grabbing you a napkin over there. Wow. It's hard to hold too, kind of, huh? There does seem to be a filling. Okay. I don't think Maybe I've gotten to it yet. I see. Uh, it looks like a chocolate cavern filling. Cavern of chocolate. <laughs> and then it's. Covered, I mean, drowned in chocolate, <laughs> Oreo cookies. It's indulgent. Do you want to try a bite? Very Connor? indulgent. Be careful, Connor. This thing's a monster. You it's a monster. A I was just about to drink some Coke. All right, you can have you that. Drink, drink some, some Coke. Coke. <laughs> a little Coke bottle. <laughs> How is it? Oh my it's God. messy, huh? Is it good? Oh, he doesn't what? like it. How? What How the, could you not like this? Mm -hmm. what, what don't you like about it, buddy? Too messy. Too messy? Mm. Well, does it taste good, though? Oh, okay. the, the donut is super fluffy. Like, it's really like a puffy donut. Like, the dough is not too, like, not super sweet by itself. So, like, the toppings are not, like, overwhelming. Even though, like, it's a lot, and it's definitely a dessert donut, it's, it's good. It's really good. Okay, and now I'm going to attack this monster. I can see the filling there in the middle, so I'm going to try to get some of that. Mmm. That is amazing. Very fresh. I would say a little too thick, which is why we're having a mess with it. Yeah, I got a lot of the filling there, so it's very good. I think it's actually a Nutella in the middle there. Wow. Like a hazelnut spread and just, yeah. Messy, but good. I mean, Connor didn't like it because it was messy, which was surprising, but I think it's a winner. So as if that giant donut wasn't enough, 
we had to get more. And funny thing is I just noticed that my wife's coffee just seems to be scowling <laughs> at the donuts. It just does not like the donuts. He's not happy. He's angry. <laughs> Didn't he look angry, Connor? Yeah. He looks like an angry coffee. <laughs> How about these donuts? Are they still hot? So these are not technically donuts, but they are the Bulgarian version of donuts. They're called Mikitsi, and you can have them sweet and you can have them savory. We did get some minis. Traditionally, they're really, really large, and they do have the large ones here. But they also have minis, and I thought the minis would be kind of fun to, you know, try a couple different ones. So we got ones with powdered sugar and ones with Nutella, as if we didn't have enough chocolate. <laughs> We also got some iced coffees. Yes, the angry iced coffee. coffees here, yeah, <laughs> angry coffee. They're kind of hard to find. Like not like in back in the states, they're everywhere. Here they do have like frappes, yeah. but they're definitely not like as sweet. So we actually found iced coffees here, so we figured we'll give them a go. They had whipped Wait, cream you, on them, you, which is always nice. I remember liking iced coffees from McDonald's. Actually. Well, you had one that doesn't have actual coffee oh, in it. Oh, the frappes. Yeah, they're it like didn't no have cheese. Real, this has real coffee in it, yes. so you shouldn't drink this one. You would not like this one. You have enough energy for... Yeah, something I've just noticed about, well, a lot of European places and Bulgarian in general is that they just don't like ice. They like things hot. So like, yeah, so when I was eating with my father, in law is Bulgarian he's like always trying to get me to eat like hot soup on the beach in the summer I'm like I don't want hot soup right now or like you have to ask for ice for your water I mean they serve it cold but I like ice cubes in mine so it's something you have to ask for in addition to get get your extra cold drinks if you want those but they have like iced coffees here and they had three different kinds hazelnut vanilla and caramel so we got a vanilla one and the caramel one. I'm not sure where the yeah, other one went. Yeah, I think they, they want to serve the iced coffees for us tourists, I guess. Yes, <laughs> and it's pretty good. I mean, it's definitely not as sweet as back home, but it's actually really, really good. I really like it. So I've been actually craving the cutesy ever since we got to Bulgaria. So finally get to have some. Mm. It's like the best. It's fried dough. It's covered in powdered sugar. The dough itself is not sweet. It is so good. So this and people is eat this for breakfast. Than, this is different than the other ones that you got me before, the little round mm -hmm. round ones, yeah. Yeah, these are for breakfast. And that's why they can be sweet and they can be savory. What is it, honey? You want a hug? Oh, <laughs> look at that. Uh, hug time. Random hug, all right. <laughs> Connor, how about you try some of this, my kids see? You wanna try this? Let's give it a little try. I know you like Nutella. Do you wanna put some Nutella on yeah. it and then try it? Okay. Everything's Nutella's better with Nutella. Like Nutella is actually my favorite type of chocolate. Yeah. Well, it's a this? hazelnut spread, actually. I know. Nutella, I know. Hazelnut spread. <laughs> okay. This feels a little hotter than the other one. Is it going to be too hot for Connor? I only got to feel it for one second. It's <laughs> <That's> really <laughs> scared hot. Of it? All right, Mom, you, you do the taste test then to make sure it's not too hot for him. Mm. These ones are crunchier. Oh, so, so good, though. Is it too though. hot for Connor? I think you can handle it, Connor. All right, Connor, let's do it. It's not too hot, baby. Okay, give it a little taste test. Mmm, not too bad. Yeah, you like it? Now you gave the fancy, fancy donut over there a 5 out of 10. What do you give this one? Like a 9. Like a 9? Ooh, okay. That's a big improvement. So the simple donuts, he liked better. I think because they weren't too messy, huh? Well, a little messy with the Nutella, but... Yeah. Still not as messy as that monster donut from Hans and Gretel. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> you gotta put it on yourself there, Connor. You wanna try the powdered sugar one, Chris? Okay, while Connor's over there making a mess, I will do the powdered sugar one. Hmm. Right? It's good, simple, but delicious. Okay, so we all tried to come down into the ruins here, but unfortunately they said we couldn't bring food and drink. We just had like a bag of gummy candy and an apple juice. But I guess they were afraid that would hurt the ruins, so we got yelled at by a security guard. So Mama stayed up with the with the goodies, and me and Connor came down in the ruins. How would that even hurt the ruins? I don't think that gummy candy would hurt the ruins, but that's yeah. what that security guard thought. He was going to put you in handcuffs if for gummy bears. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's check it out. Let's check it out, Connor. You wanted to come through here. Oh, look, this is what it looked like 
back in the olden days when it was all nice and new. See, Connor? Don't touch, don't touch. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> yeah, so this would have been where, you know, where there were performances and all kinds of things back in the Roman days. Let's go check out this tunnel over here, Connor. Come on. Slow it down, slow it down. Yeah. Oh, it's nice and cool down here, huh? Yeah. It's hot out there, so I'd rather just stay in here. You just want to stay down here? Yeah. We can live down here? <laughs> Alright, let's really surprise Mommy and go up these other steps and come behind her. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> this staircase is actually a lot easier than the one we came down. It's like a spiral staircase. Alright, let's go surprise her. She's waiting for us to come up the other stairs. Oh, look right here, Connor. And this right here is a Muslim, is a Muslim architecture temple there. All right, where'd Mama go? We lost her. We lost her, Connor. <laughs> I don't know if she saw you yet. Run over to her and surprise her. <laughs> no, you didn't know. Yeah, the ruins have two staircases. All right. And Logan would have liked the other staircase better. <laughs> Logan didn't like this staircase. He thought it was scary. Well, I guess it looks a little scary. <laughs> All right, let's continue to see some more here. Something very cool and unique is they actually have restaurants outside in the bottom of the mosque so that's definitely something that's unique I don't think I've seen that anywhere else where they're kind of you know having a place of worship and you after you're done you can go down and grab a bite to eat so obviously it's gonna be a Turkish food down here underneath and it's beautiful architecture like the woodwork and everything is insane on this building it's just so beautiful so something in Europe I have to get used to is graffiti but there is a difference between graffiti and street art okay this is graffiti this is street art wow that's beautiful I like thought that was like screen printed on the side of the building at first and then I saw that it was actually all hand painted on pretty cool so the district that we're currently in is the Kapana district here in Plovdiv and this place is known for their street art which is incredible but they also have a very lively atmosphere so if you like to party at nighttime this is where you go to all the restaurants all the bars it's like the hip area yeah and I also <laughs> love the cobblestone streets here yeah so we're gonna kind of walk through before heading to the old town night won't stop for traffic lights And I I really want to know, really want to know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down And so the hills begin This city is known as the city of seven hills here in Bulgaria Just because there is hills all throughout the city Which make for great viewpoints if you want to climb all the way up there To see the city from a to totally different angle 
but right now we're gonna start climbing our very first hill here in Old Town. And as you can see, the cobblestone here is not like earlier. This is more <laughs> rugged, more. That's right. It's like we're doing a like a trail hike. Exactly. Right <laughs> so we're gonna go. And we're gonna. All right, Logan. You can do it, buddy. Logan's like, you I need another it. ice cream it's before I make it any further. <laughs> I do feel. think I need a drink. This place, Plovdiv, is a very, very hot city. I, I say come here in the spring or in the fall when the weather is a little bit cooler. Yeah, a little hot right now. Yeah. So I think we need to find some lemonade or something cool to get us through these hills. <laughs> but we get up and start from the ground. Keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Even if the sky is falling down The sky is falling down it definitely feels so cool that even though this is a very busy tourist city, you can still get lost on these little cobblestone side streets and there's no people here. There's literally nobody around us. It's crazy. <laughs> and we're on the way to like the part of Old Town that everybody likes to see. So you'd think other people would be on their way there too. But hey, it's kind of cool that we're kind of feel like a local here wandering around the streets. <laughs> All by ourselves. <laughs> yeah. This is some real rugged off-road cobblestone here. What do you think, kids? Huh? You're looking yeah. a little tired. We're gonna have to find some drinks or ice cream, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> look, Connor, this guy is holding a picture frame. Yeah. Huh? Oh, look. Looks like you're in the picture with him now. <laughs> it's always a good time for an ice cream stop, right, Connor? <laughs> You're not complaining now, are you? <laughs> By a little walking. Logan's got a sour apple juice right there. Huh? All right, and we're actually right here outside of the amphitheater. Amphitheater, which actually is an active amphitheater still, right? Well, yes, they do have a lot of concerts there, which I hear are incredible to see this place at night, especially with the view in the background that you guys will see in a minute. Um, I wish we were here during a concert, but we're gonna explore during the day and see the views from this incredible amphitheater and how it's so well preserved here in Plovdiv. So we're gonna enjoy some snacks. I'm waiting for my lemonade because it's scorching hot and these hills are giving us a run for our money. <laughs> so. Dad, why did you not get me a lemonade? A lemonade? Oh. We got you this juice right here. I think it's a peach juice. I didn't know you wanted lemonade, but I'll give you some of mine if you want to try. Okay. Well, you're making a mess there, but it's tasty. I have a beard. You have an ice cream beard? Oh, it's here. I'm so excited for this. See, it's the pineapple lemonade. Mm, there's little chunks of pineapple in it too. I wasn't expecting that. It's really, really good. So I think it's time for Connor to try. Connor, are you ready to try this lemonade? Yeah. Okay. It's not super, not super sour. Not super sour. <laughs> <laughs> it's so sour, it tastes like so. Well, like maybe because so it's going from the ice cream That's to the lemonade. True. It's going from a very, very sweet to something a little sour, but it's not. It's not super sweet. Lemonade here, I've noticed, is not definitely not as sweet as back in the states, but it's so refreshing. You can. Logan loves lemonade. We used to make lemonade all the time. No. We are no. drinking some sour apple juice anyway. Right? Oh, it's it's so good, perfect for this hot day. Oh wow, we got a bouncer. We got a bouncer to let us into the Coliseum. How much? I'll give you a hundred dollars. Or you can let me in free because I'm your dad. You got your chicken in there. Okay, well let me in then. <laughs> you got to lift up? Okay. Good job, bouncer. Woo! That is beautiful. Wow. The view from up here. I mean, you can really see the city. I imagine at night it would be really, really beautiful. Right now it's 
Yeah. Definitely hot. <laughs> There's yeah. no shade up here. So this is the main attraction here in Plovdiv. This is a Roman Colosseum that was amphitheater. built. Amphitheater. Yeah. Amphitheater, sorry. Amphitheater. <laughs> so this was built in the first century, right? Yeah, first century AD. So this is the most, you know, <laughs> preserved actually like that they found in all of Europe, I think one of the most yeah, preserved. One of the most preserved. This was destroyed by a fire or an earthquake. They're unsure in the fifth century. And it was discovered again by a landslide actually in the, when was it, 1970s? Yeah, 1968. Late 1960s. So 1960s, they actually, uh, there was a landslide and they started to uncover this. And whenever they found it was there, they uncovered it the rest of the way. So then you see what has been preserved since. Exactly. So pretty cool. And it actually still seats like, 3,500 people, they still do have performances here. Originally, it sat like 7,000 back when it was back in the day. Back in, <laughs> um, but yeah, we're gonna definitely go check this out and you are actually allowed to walk down in it. We did have to pay, how much was it? It was five, five lev a person. Connor, very careful and slow, sweetie, on the stairs. <laughs> yeah. Boy, Connor. All right, come on guys, let's go down. Hold on to the rail. Pretty steep. <laughs> Yeah, if your kids are young, definitely hold on to them going down these steps. Yeah, right here you can see it looks like this was a new step that they added. And then here is one of the original marble steps. It's not very good for Not very good for football. I agree. Dad, look down. Look down. Okay, be very careful. This last step is a doozy. Don't come this way. All right, buddy, now come across here. Yeah, this last step definitely is a death doozy. <laughs> oh, there's actually a little way out. Okay, so they have some steps built right here to go all the way down in. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Of a death trap over here. <laughs> yeah. So this amphitheater in the Roman times was basically used kind of like the Colosseum. They had fights over here with animals. They did find some securing areas. So that's kind of what made them think that it was used for gladiator fights. Cool. Um, hey kids, they actually used to have gladiator fights here back in the day. I know. Would that be cool? Do you think those scratches everywhere are from the gladiators? I don't fights? think this 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 stage is not original. This is what they have just for performances, Connor. But if you look over here, this is really incredible the way it's reversed because on the sculptures up there, they have can you even say the head? A lot of times they're like the other one where the head is missing, but there is one that still has his head. Oh wow, yeah. yeah. That's pretty well preserved. Pretty cool. Yeah, this is definitely a really, really cool place. Very inexpensive though. It is five left for the adults, free for the kids. Then just stop by yeah. and finally we found some shade too. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. We can catch some shade here in this archway. Falling down, yeah. Sky is falling down. Logan and Connor are going to face off in a gladiator fight of rock, paper, scissors. And the crowd goes wild. Woo! Okay, ready? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it, ready? Rock. Mind. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ah, and he got the rock with the paper. Okay, ready? Best out of three. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay, go again. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay, oh wow, they're time. Paper, scissors, shoot. Okay, Connor, you got another one. You got him. You got the paper. 
Okay, last one, last one. Okay, and Connor is the champion. And Logan, you have to go through that archway where a lion is waiting to eat you. Oh no! We love you, but you lost. <laughs> Wow, these are some steep steps, kids, huh? It's cool. You can see how worn down the original like marble was in the steps here. Very cool. But this is the new one. They're slippery too. Yes, they are. <laughs> these ones are. Okay. Yeah, that's the new ones right there. Yes, but they are still a little bit slippy. <laughs> All right, Connor, your shift for being the bouncer's over. You can go ahead and let yourself out now, Connor. Here you go, sir. Your shift's over. There you go. Thank you. Making sure everybody had a ticket. <laughs> oh, that was a workout. Yeah, yeah, the steps were crazy. They were basically a 45 degree angle up. So, and it is hot out, but that was an awesome experience oh, to be it was, there. It was fantastic, yep. Now I think we're gonna go and take a little break and relax. <laughs> I just wanna feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out, so. Try not to hold me down, feel alive. All right, and my wife is lagging behind. And here is a pro tip, because she is wearing flip-flops. Like very nice nail polish, very nice. Thank but you, thank you. Maybe you should have worn sneakers when you knew that there was gonna be cobblestone streets. I mean, you know, you live and learn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which, yeah, we've made this mistake before. Yeah. So definitely when you know it's gonna be an older place with cobblestone streets, put on your walking shoes. But listen, I got <laughs> my walking shoes. You got your walking shoes on, yes, um. sir. All right, and Connor's got his running shoes on. He is way down there. Yeah, it's like he has a waist car. Yeah, but once again, we find ourselves Lost. with no people. Yes. And yeah, and it's not really showing too good on the GPS where we're supposed to go, so. We'll, we'll figure it out eventually. We'll wander around until we see some people. Maybe. <laughs> Mom, so my instincts were cracked, right? All right, Connor, this way. I think we go this way, Connor. Mom Let's said, try Mom said right, so my instincts were cracked. Yeah. Look how cute this little street is. Oh, look, and that's actually an Italian place right there with pizza. Well, that concludes our day of sightseeing here in Plovdiv, Bulgaria. We are staying at the Soho Apart Hotels. So it's a pretty plush place, as you can see here, and very modern in a very old city. So everything is all marble. They have this awesome place with homemade desserts downstairs here. See all the desserts here. That's pretty nice. Pretty nice, yeah. I know. We'll have to ask mom if she wants to get some of these desserts later. Yeah. And then let's head upstairs and we'll give you a tour yeah. of where we're staying, huh? Yes. Do you like where we're staying, Logan? Yeah, I like it a lot. Definitely attention to detail here. Oh, Connor's gonna just lounge here. You need a beer, sir? You need a beer? You can take your coffee out there in the morning if you want. Yeah, but super high tech here. Right there, they got the automatic lights and the light upstairs and everything. Security. Got the spiral staircase going up. And we're on the third floor, right? All right, and Logan doesn't love elevators, but he loves this one, don't you, Logan? Yeah. <laughs> it talks. It talks. Yes, it yeah. does. It talks in Bulgarian. Let's see. All right. 
Very high tech everything here, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I think I saw it was built in like 2018 or something. So pretty nice. That means oh. going up. Yeah, the <laughs> elevator will continue up. Nice. Home sweet home. Okay, let's show them our place, Logan. Go ahead. Open the door. Unlocked. Oh, Ooh. high tech. I love the way it talks to you. And it even says locked when it gets locked. See, it said locked. All right, so it's got these easy touch buttons here for all the lights. Yeah. Yes. I'll close the door. <laughs> Logan, why did you turn it off? This one over here. <laughs> We have to be mindful of for the kids to not turn this one off because if it's green, that turns off our hot water. No, so okay. you always want it to be orange. <laughs> I was warned by the staff. So right over here is our bathroom. It is a little tight, but it is very modern, very clean, very nice. Now, the one thing with Europe is they typically do wet rooms. So most showers do not have enclosures. So they just have this little piece of glass. So when I took yeah. a shower last night, I just got, you know, the shower all over the toilet, all over the floor and everything. The water, so, yeah. Kind of mess, water everywhere. But this has a ton of storage in here, it opens up. That was a really yeah. I did notice the sink the is room. loose, which kind of scared me, but nothing is leaked, so. No. Hey, it's, it's doing good. Nothing yeah, but leaked. everything in here is definitely like high-end finishes, marble really everywhere. Really nice, really definitely nice. Definitely very beautiful. When I compare it to like the place that you chose, like in Sunny Beach, that was like the Barbie dream house, mm -hmm. I was like, that was not my decor, but this is like a good masculine it's decor, but still very, cool for for as well. Very sleek. There is a lot of storage in here, so you can put all of your shoes in here. Like if you were staying for a longer term, we're only here for a night. Hello. And then the kitchen is Connor likes the decor too. Don't oh, you Connor. <laughs> you like, what is this fancy little dish? I don't know what it's for. <laughs> so the kitchen is very functional. They do have pots and pans and silverware and basically everything you may need. Oop. Yeah, you push it on those and yeah. they pop right out. Yeah. Push it and, pop out. <laughs> wow. and then there is an oven. Um, Three burner no, cooktop there. Cooktop. But yeah, I could definitely see staying here longer term. Exactly. For sure. So it's a, it is, is a park hotel, so catch. it's made for longer stays. So that's cool. Kids <laughs> you are obsessed with the cabinets. <laughs> and then you do have a coffee maker. Tea, tea maker or oh. water boiler, um, and then it's all free. So if you want more coffee, if you need more tea, you can just let housekeeping know and they will restock you with whatever yeah. you need. Fridge was stocked with waters and yes. everything, so we're good there. It's a decent size. It has a freezer portion to it too. No. So again, if you're staying longer term. Yeah, I like all the recessed lighting that they have and the ceiling and everything. It's like the small touches in here and attention to detail. Um, it does have the AC unit, which is very kept it very cold in here oh he's playing with this led like they like the kids have been staying here so it is a pull out couch so did you have a good sleep connor logan, logan? no yes you did yes yeah i mean i slept good <laughs> then you had a good sleep and then they have a 70 inch tv out here so they're pretty happy about that right what's yes. this don't be loud <laughs> oh yeah look it's a look yeah it's a little guy look look at the side he's saying shh so every time you're loud out here, just look at that little guy and he'll tell you to be quiet. Okay. And then there's a little balcony out here, which is nice. So uh, Dad, you're being if you want to go out in the balcony here, I didn't it's pretty nice if you want to go out. You didn't notice? You want to go out? Yeah. Yeah, we can go out and check it out. It doesn't have the most magnificent view. But yeah, so <laughs> the view, you know, there's older houses next door what? here compared to this, this is like so a 2018. Gross. What is so gross? This view. You don't like this view? Yeah, it isn't the best view. But hey, if you need a little outdoor space out here, or if you're a smoker like many are in Europe, then, then you have your little spot out there. Yeah. And then right in here is our bedroom. So it is a one bedroom. It's nice, there's a king size bed. Very nice size That was bed. great. And we also have our Cow. own TV, you know, apart from the kids, so that's nice. Decent size again. Yeah, looks like it's a 50 inch, 50 inch, I think. Yeah. yeah. And then we have a closet space right there. Yeah. Remember, don't be so loud. Oh, sorry, was I being loud? I'm sorry. <laughs> so definitely a decent amount of space um, for our small family. We really, really liked it. The place was very inexpensive. Inexpensive. I'll have to double check on the pricing, but I think it was around 70 US dollars per night. Yeah, which isn't um, bad. And if you stay longer, they give you better deals. So I'm we were sure. doing a short stay. Oh, you found another little globe thing you like? They have a planet. 
Yay. Yeah, but that concludes Yay. our stay here in Plovdiv, Bulgaria. So it's been short and sweet, and we've absolutely loved this city. Yeah, I would give it maybe a second day yeah, to sure. see everything. I think probably to see all the major it's sites. Three nights. Three nights probably would be good, and to be able to go to some nice places and everything like that. Um, but yeah, I think every we we got all of the major spots at major least. Major spots. So that's There's good. There's a lot, a lot more to see, but it's a very pedestrian friendly city. It is pretty kid friendly, although it's it's hot, so they got pretty <laughs> tired from the walking. Yeah. But many stops for ice cream and treats always help. Yeah. But I would say. I would say this is definitely a must-see like city to visit in Bulgaria. I even liked it better than Sofia. I thought this place had so much character. It was just fantastic. So yeah, yeah, Connor has his little. Highly his little recommend. Kitty. Put it on your must-visit list when you come to Bulgaria, and we will see you guys in the next country because this is our final stop here. Yes, and next we are going to Greece. Woo! So we are going to the island of Crete, so we will see you next in Greece. What do you say to our friends, Connor? Make sure you like and subscribe, please. We'll see you next in Greece. All right. Oh, oh, he's ready for Greece. They're ready for Greece. Yeah. Oh, was that the Greece dance? I put you guys the Mexico dance. All right, well, you can use the Mexico dance in Greece if you want. All right, woo, watch out.